Kendra's least favorite of animals. And they're able to drink through their nostrils. Smells like pee and poo. Let's see. How's the hot tub? Hot. Perfect. How's the temperature? Really nice. Sunny has loved exploring a new space. So when we're looking for Airbnbs, we want to find a place that is fun for us to hang out at. Like with the pool and the hot tub. They have cornhole and bocce ball and all the other stuff inside. Fed the giraffes. Yeah, at the yeah, San Diego Zoo. It was Flashback. so fun. Can you feel her tongue? Yeah. yeah. Like that. Hide the other ones. So, or is that one just further away? Oh, look how he wiggles his ears. Can you wiggle your ears? Dad can. Uh oh, this one. Here's a question for you: How many vertebrae do you think are in a giraffe's neck? Let's get some guesses here. How many vertebrae do humans have? Humans have seven cervical vertebrae. So that means they're neck vertebrae. I think 100. 150. 104. 200. 1,052. 1,052. I went with 700. 70. All right, we're looking up the answer. We are way off. What is it? What? The giraffe has a unique body plan with an extraordinarily long and flexible neck. However, Just one? It basically consists of just seven bony what? cervical what? vertebrae. What? That's less than that. They must just have like yeah. huge vertebrae. So the giraffe has the same amount so as a giraffe. So the giraffe has the same number of vertebrae in their neck as a human does. That's insane. That is insane. So gross. They're way bigger than I thought. Do you see the crane? We see those every day in our neighborhood. That's like the cranes at home. <laughs> So even though it's way past Christmas, they still got Christmas music going, Christmas trees, Christmas lights. Oh, they're closer than I thought they were. Petting a camel. I've never touched a camel in my life. The camel's name is Isaac. Isaac. The camel has one hump, which means he's a dromedary camel. So Janae just keeps asking to see the lions, but unfortunately they're like at the back. So I know you don't like Christmas music before Christmas, before Thanksgiving. How about after Christmas? How long can you go? You know, after New Year's, it's over. It's about time to finish it up. Yeah. Way back there in the grass, they're laying down. You can see them if you're standing by me. They're like camouflage. Yeah. I think a cheetah for me would be a pretty cool animal to have as a pet because they're like tame oh, ones, this is and they look really cute. Top no, top cheetahs top. are not pets. Top top. Mom looked up. If you can legally have a it cheetah as a pet. It is illegal to keep a cheetah as a pet. Mm, I'll have to go with the tiger then. He has bad hair. Bad hair day. This one is called Lion King. So these are called mandrills with the really colorful nose. The males have the colorful nose to attract the females. He's mad. <laughs> Hello guys, how are you doing? <laughs> hey you! Quiet zone, sensitive animals. We should have a sign like this on our on Kendra's room. Quiet zone, sensitive mother. How did they capture them? I think they pulled their waist. What what do they eat? Grass and bushes. Didn't we feed rhinos? Yeah we did. Yeah we did. You wanna try? 
<laughs> Elise just yep. tossed it in. Yeah, the horn is like wood. So they said that most of the time when they do this tour that they aren't able to feed the rhinos, so we got really lucky. I thought that was a statue! That's a real a turtle. Oh, that that got to be a tortoise. It's huge. They weigh 100 to 750 pounds, and they're able to drink through their nostrils. Look, they're high-fiving! Boom. High five. High five. This is the African lion. He's laying down. He's taking a nap, but I see him. There he is. Whoa. I see because he's like, laying down. This is the most important case because it's the biggest thing. The lion is sleeping. It looks like he's pretty old. Yeah, they said when we were coming up that it's an older lion and they're getting a new pride in a couple months. Got more hogs. So apparently the Lion King is our primary source of education of African animals. It's our problem free philosophy. Look, it's a wild Caleb playing in its natural habitat. This is the human exhibit. The human exhibit. Mom, it's a mountain goat. There are some incredible videos on YouTube of bighorn sheep climbing crazy things. I want to hold one. I, oh, I know you want to hold one, baby, but we can't go in there right now. I would love that. This is fun how they're just like jumping around. Whoa! Whoa, guys, can we go in? Whoa! Horses! She found the horses! So this is a Pearl Island boa. There's a scorpion. What is it? And a tarantula. Hello. Hola. This is when you there think of a parrot. Holly, this is want to what I think of. A macaw. It's a big fish. A humongous fish. It is a humongous fish. Kendra's least favorite of animals. No, of any. The crocodile and the alligator. Alligators. Alligators. Everyone's excited to see the alligators. Just don't trip and fall in, okay, Janae? You're coming? <gasps> there it is. It's sleeping. Yeah. Dude, that's just like in the movies where it's like they're just laying in the water. I know, and then they start swimming up and you like see the head. So it says alligators have between 74 and 80 teeth at a time in their mouth, but they go through over 3,000 teeth in their lifetime. Whoa. So we have our baby set of teeth and they fall out and we get our adult set. They are constantly having them fall out and get new ones. Yeah, Two oh fairy God. must be good to uh, alligators. All right, we saw them. Let's get out of here. Everyone wants to stay. Mom's like, let's go. There's this little duck over here that I'm surprised is hanging out in the crocodile pond. Just seems like a bad place to uh, go for a Maybe swim. She's fourth biggest cats on earth. First tiger, second lion, third leopard, fourth jaguar. Tigers are bigger than lions? Well, yeah. wait, this is a jaguar. He's growling. It sounds like a purr. It's an angry purr. <gasps> It's like a giant kitty purring. So it's, like, it's like an angry purr. He wants the other one to come out. He wants the other one to come out and play. He's like, I think come, he's the daddy. Come play with me. Oh, these guys are cute. They have like epic mustaches. You think you could ever grow a mustache like that, Jeremy? Oh, right, let's do it. That's not Shimba. No. It's going to step on me right now. You feel like it's going to step on you right now? It looks so real, so real. It does look so real, doesn't it? It's got tusks and a trunk. It's so big. All right, they have their brushers. Look on the collar. Patches. This is Patches. What's his name? Let's see. The name is Rabbit. Hi, Rabbit. You're done petting? Smells weird. It smells, it smells like pee and poo. Farm animals. Do you love the zoo? Yeah. Gilbert. Hi, Gilbert. Janae's been very excited about the names of all the different goats. Winston. Nugget, like chicken nugget. Nugget and Winston. Nugget and Winston. Which one's your favorite? Winston. 
Winston. So now Janae knows the names of all of the animals here, all of the goats. What's happening to them? Uh oh. Bunny left some bunny droppings. Them poopers. They pooped. Yep, it happens. That was amazing. He's looking at us. You want to pick the lion to ride on? You want the cheetah? Ooh, the hummingbird. Very patriotic. The bald eagle. The flying dragon. That was close. Sometimes I feel like going to the zoo is like playing a giant game of Where's Waldo? Because you come up to the exhibit and you have to find the animal. Yeah. Yikes. <coughs> What's this? A lot of different kinds of rattlesnakes. None of them have their what rattlers up. What is this? They're all like sleeping right now. You can see the rattler on that guy. A lot of different kinds of rattlesnakes. I'm not feeling comforted in this room. This is a black widow, and then there's a scorpion over here. I'm kind of creeped out at the moment. I want to see this scorpion. Okay, let's get out of this creepy place. Oh, those two are fighting. It's going into another one. Mom, is that how our game of tag looks? I have never seen so many gophers. I'm freaked out by that. I'm worried he's going to poop on me. There's Gus. I think that got he's just pregnant. She's pregnant. This is the kind of bird that we found when we were out in the woods one time hiking. There's a perfect view of the eagle from right here on this rock. So Isaac, what's so special to you about seeing an eagle this close in the, in the wild? I've always loved seeing wild animals. Like it's cool to see them in a zoo, but like when we saw the coyote chasing deer or like seeing this eagle right here, it's, it's so cool. Isaac really wants to see a mountain lion. Bro, that's so cool. Janae, you got to go to the zoo. Well, I think we've seen all the animals, and I think the rest of us are ready to go, but Janae wants to stay. This animal almost beat me at Where's Waldo, but I finally found it. Right we're as we were walking back. away. So that is an American pussy pine. It's bigger than I thought it was. It's the condor. I feel like the first time I was ever in Ikea, like you get started and you're in the maze and you're in the middle and you don't know how to get out. At this point, we're just hoping to find an exit at some point. So we're finding the exit, headed out, and we're counting our kids, and Jeremy's like, where's Janae? Where's Janae? Where is she? Where's Janae? <laughs> there she is. We're going against the one-way sign at this point because we can't figure out how else to get out. I'm not a rule breaker, but we have to find an exit. It said the exit was this way. I know. We did it! We found the exit. Good night. Get us out. Caleb slipped. <laughs> 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 what was that? <laughs> <laughs>